Okay. Good afternoon, girls. Like yesterday, plié, two demi plié, and take care of the port de bras. Grand plié, port de bras en avant, stay flat, couronne à la seconde. Two demi plié, one grand plié, to the bar, and feel the floor staying like that, close force. Two demi plié, one grand plié, here, feel the floor, close feel, two demi plié, one grand plié, énergie tout autour, plié, here, détourné, and à la gauche, and you do half point for left side. Let's go. And breathe. E. And soft demi plié. And one, two, and three. Think of your port de bras. Penche en avant. And feel the floor. And dégagé à la seconde. Et un. Good. Pointé, cambré sur la barre. And feel your body. Good. And two knees out. Think of the knee behind. Low shoulder. To the bar, uh, to center, sorry. Stay and good. Two knees out. Hold your elbows. And find a dynamic and one. And plié, détourné, and left. And a little more energic. One. Good. And. E. Demi-point. Good. Soft knees. Find the other off from the hips. Demi-point. Plie. E. Nous sommes de retour et c'est le groupe A, les filles, en classique avec Elisabeth Patel devant le jury avec un enchaînement à la fin du cours. Cynthia. We are back with the group A, ladies, in their classical class taught by Elisabeth Platel. I see a, a difference in this training with the girls far more than I see with the gentlemen. Mm. I can see the upper bodies if a Vaganova trained dancer or some Russian trained, as opposed to perhaps an American trained. Mm -hmm. There's a certain elegance difference of the arms, not to say one is better than the other, yep. but I, I can identify more or less the differences in the training. And I think the Korean ladies have a beautiful port de bras. We mm. see that in them in their work quite a lot. Yeah. No, we've seen a lot of strong dancers coming out of Korea. Yes, and I think the school years. has been uh, gaining in strength and, yeah. and and a good kind of notoriety. Yep. <laughs> no, exactly. No one and I love also in Elizabeth's classes, like Yannick, just very clear, simple, um, very logical. Just allowing them to feel the floor, get on their legs, simple. And it's not clever for clever's sake. You know, exactly. Sometimes teachers come to these uh, meetings, uh, and this is not about them. They are actually giving it for the students. So you're not showing off your skills as a teacher. It's really to get them to, to do the best that they can. Yeah. Keep the music. And one and plie. Good girls. Okay. 
left side. S'il te plaît, Martine. And. Good. Fix. Pause. Plié, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and slide. Back, side, front. And when you will be back, you will do a double slide. Okay? Let's go. You know the exercise? Double side when you are from the arabesque. Et. 1, 2, 3. Pas trop vite. Martine, calme. 1, Deux, bien. Long legs. One and two. Un. Long leg. Good. And now with a double slide. I, un. Don't speed, you have time. Pli. One, pli, and one, and stay. One and two, one. Stay, stay, un, et good. Last time. You can really use the A, okay? Left side, pas trop vite, hein, Martine. Tu t'es emballé. A. One and E. Don't kill your fifth position. Nice fifth position. Good. You were in a hurry. Be quiet. It's exactly the same tempo, except we use an and. Okay? So you don't skip the fifth position. But we will skip the dégagé à terre. We will go direct to jeter, jeter, cheville. Jeter, jeter, cheville. À la seconde, seconde, cheville. And jeter. Jeter, jeter, cheville. I will begin to tell you some of the other... Candidates here today. We have 107. Her name is Yoon So Choi. She is South Korean. Her age is 15 and 5 months. She will be dancing the Lilac Fairy variation from the prologue of The Sleeping Beauty and Rossini Cards by Mauro Bigonzetti. Isn't a strong group from South Korea this yes. year? Yes. And just behind her on the bar, we see number 106, Yasmin. Kayabai from Turkey. She is 15 years and four months old, 160 tall, five foot two, and she's a, stu a student here in Switzerland at the Zurich Dance Academy. She will be dancing The Awakening of Flora and Rain by Kin Sun Chan. Another lovely girl from Switzerland. Uh, she's actually Turkish by birth, isn't she? And yes. She's here in Switzerland. We have 102, Lucia Abril Marcucci. She's from Argentina, and she's five foot five, and she's just 15 years old in one month. She will be dancing The Awakening of Flora, the girls' solo variation from that, and Rossini Cards. She studies at the Institute of Advanced Studies in the Teatro Colón. 
Yes, and the last young lady on this side of the bar is our youngest candidate this year from Japan, number 101, Rin Sato. She's exactly 15 years and zero months old. Um, she is five foot one, so 155 centimeters. She's a, she's an independent student, and she'll be dancing the first shades variation from Bayadere and Sarah Ban from Goya Montero. She's quite petite but very sweet. Yeah. You see the their personalities come through, uh, often in class, but more yeah. more so on the stage. Yeah. So we look forward to that. No we'll be identifying a few more students in this class as we progress through the bar exercises. Yeah, and a special, you know, as the youngest candidate, you've really got to have courage because she's literally just turned, just turned 15. So she's literally within a week of being too young. Bless her, lovely. Work on it, E, E. Okay, left side, E. Good. Stop in fifth position. And stay. Un. Two hips the same level. OK. Rond de jambe. Tranquille. Glisser, cinquième, glisser, rond de jambe, quatre rondes de jambe. Lift the leg, close fifth, here. And place the leg, it's not a big battement, it's place the leg, go straight to the standing leg, and arabesque. Back, then you have penché en avant, cambré, eight you open on arabesque, penché, cambré, and a nice balance in half point, closing fifth position, half point. Okay, like yesterday. Let's go. E. Hold your elbow. And long leg. Good. And huge leg. And rond. Rond. And lift. Close fifth. And place the leg. Find the under and good. Better. Okay. And a nice arabesque, easy one. That's the first one of the day. And close fifth. And landing in the fifth position. Very good, much better than yesterday. Very precise. Okay, let's breathe. Even when you are finishing, don't block. Okay, left side, E. And brush the floor, use the floor. before you go in front.
Good, good. And it's finished. Okay. Thank you. Fondu is it, and really show me the fifth position before you do the coupé. It's important. Coupé is right, but I want to see the closing from the top of the leg. Fondu front, fondu back, and a double. So the first time, I really want to see the level of the ribbons. And second time, you will do to the knee when you do half point, okay? Fondu, front, fondu, back, double front, double side. And second time, half point to the knee. And level of the hip. So show me exactly the difference of the level, demi-hauteur and hauteur. Et. And one, and strong, and one. Strong, close fifth, and. Very low leg, flat. Resist, and now the midpoint, level of the hip. Close fifth. Good. Un. Okay, good girls, finish. This is difficult, the double fondu. So soft legs, easy legs, and breathe. It's a landing of the jumping, important. Left side. And strong and deep. And much better. Okay. Rond de jambe with a sort of adagio, like we did yesterday. Rond de jambe en dehors, rond de jambe en dedans. Five, six, and a double finish. Now you do développé arabesque on plié, close fifth, and a huge rond de jambe, close back. And a one, and two, and the three, and four, five, six, in, in, close. Développé devant. And please don't land here. Stay here. Place the leg. Find the underhore. Going here. Penché en avant. Grand plié cinquième. And balance. OK? Allez. Et. And a one. E. And a one. E. One and place and develop plie close back e and a one low leg take care of the knee OK, penché en avant. We're going to look at number 115, Sydney Upchurch. She's from the United States. She's 16 years old in one month, five foot three. She's from the Cary Ballet Conservatory. And she's going to be dancing the second soloist variation from La Bayadere, as well as Unravel by Maya Smallwood. Nice. And just in front of her in the bar in the dark blue, 
From the UK is Natalie Henry, number 116, training as an independent. She is 16 years and two months old, 164 tall, five foot four, and she'll be dancing the Lilac Fairy from Sleeping Beauty, and she's also chosen Unravel from Maya Smallwood. And then, while we're on that bar, why don't we look at 117, Heewon Moon. She's 16 years old in three months. She's five foot four as well. She's from the Sunwa Arts High School in South Korea. She'll be dancing the Gulnara variation from Le Corsair, as well as Rain by Kin Sun Chan. Nice. And right at the front here on the center bar, we have number 118, uh, Madison Taberham from the UK. She's a student at the Orlando Metropolitan Ballet Academy. She's 16 years and three months old, 173 tall, five foot eight. And she'll be dancing the first shade from La Bayadere and Saraband from Goya Montero. Okay. Merci. Les petits battements. Là, aujourd'hui, avec épaulement. Et un, et deux, et trois, et quatre. Un whisté. Lucky you are. <laughs> suivi, suivi. So we will do suivi half point. Landing on a four. And a one, and a two, and a three. Flick, it's really from that part of the foot. Not the whole foot, okay? So, en épaulement, en épaulement, en épaulement, en épaulement. Staying facing. Suivi demi-pointe, landing, simple, double, double, flick. And a nice balance in attitude, landing in a plié, and close the feet. Okay, thank you. And. And one. On the floor. Demi-pointe, land. Use, yes. Cross, cross. And a nice attitude, very square, very square. Close your attitude. Landing on the plié, stay, 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 print. Super, merci. Think of a pirouette attitude, not a high attitude, square attitude. Left side. E. Yes, good. Oh, remember that for all your life, please. It's so important, okay? We will sign a paper that you will. Okay, grand battement, close and retire and retire. Battement, here and pique. À la seconde, close, retire, retire. One grand battement, one pique, en croix. Fix each retiré and one fermé. Okay. To the left side, you will concentrate more on the music and the stopping. It's really one and two and three and four and wait and five, six and seven 
Eight. Left side. E. Put the feet on the floor and use it. Thank you, girls, because we did the rond de jambe with the rond de jambe en l'air. You can put your point shoes. Bar is finished. Great, and we're here with Gigi Hyatt. Pleasure to welcome you back. You've been on the jury several times, and as a laureate yourself, how does it feel to be back again this year? It's it's very exciting. It's always a pleasure to be here. Um, I know when back when I was 16 years old and I took part in the competition, I'm, it, there, there were memories of a lifetime, for a lifetime, and friends that were made that we still have contact with and that we meet annually here in Lausanne. Mm -hmm. so. And it's nice to be back, to be able to meet annually again. Absolutely. Gosh, after the last difficult two years, yes, we're, we we're finally back all. together. <laughs> You sat on my jury when I was the president of the jury several years ago, right. and uh, what advice could you give these young dancers if you were to give them, or the, the audience who may want to compete one time in the future? Well, I, yes, no, I think I think what's special about Pre de Lausanne is that one doesn't necessarily have to think about the, the idea of competing. It's just coming to gain experience, try to fulfill your potential, and to, to, to maybe find the next step, which I think is key in everyone's life. and. Honestly, whether we're doing ballet or not, is is do we have the luck and the, you know, the talent and the and the, the good fortune and the, the the work to find that perfect next step? And that's what I wish for everybody that 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 fit is is key. Mm. And you also have this year one of the winners from last year from the Young Creators Award is a student or was a student of the Hamburg Ballet School, and I think it's great. So how do you support your students' creativity? Well, that's such an exciting project that they brought to life um, last year, the, the Young Creative Award, um, because uh, our school, the Hamburg Ballet School of John Neumeyer, um, that's a main focus, is to develop the potential and the creativity in each young person so that they can become the best, most fulfilled artist and work with choreographers in the future. So um, that is certainly a key component of our school is to, to allow for potential to, to develop their creativity. So we're very excited that you know our, our dancer, Samuel Winkler, Winkler, is not able to be here this year, but his dancer, Gabrielle Warposa, who is a student in our school, is able to come in his place. I was going to mention the fact that your company associated with your school is, is about storytelling. Um, John Neumeyer's choreography is often about telling a story. Um, and other than the choreographic uh, opportunities, when you're teaching class, do you find that you refer to uh, portraying a character or trying to give meaning to every type of dance, whether it's an allegro or an adagio? Well, I think the differences are important, and to, to really listen to the mu music. Exactly. And that, that tells that's your story that's right, your right there. Exactly. If we can um, not so... Of course we have to think about the technique, and that's what we teach in the school, but if that can become a tool um, for one's own creativity and, and, as you say, telling a story, that, that would be the ideal situation. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, it's so wonderful to welcome you back and see you again, and especially after these last couple of years. Um, your contribution is val inval invaluable to these students, oh, so gosh. thank you. Thank you for having me. Pleasure. Thank you very much. <laughs> right. See you later. Okay. <laughs> I was so overwhelmed to hear that I got accepted to participate into the 2022 Pretty Lausanne. I am Leonardo Nottio, I am 16 years old. I am from Procina Santa Pescara, Italy, and I'm so excited and grateful for this beautiful opportunity. Hello. My name is Gina Ri, 18 years old. I'm from East Ballet Conservatory in South Korea. I'm very grateful to have gotten this opportunity. I think it will be really fun and I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you so much and see you soon.
Fix your hands. Fix the hands. E. And arrive here. E. Okay, second group. So two lines. So one or three, can you step forward? One. One or eight should, should be first line. Yes, that's it. And now one step forward, one step back, forward. It's okay. 106. So move a little more. That's it. Okay? And try to be not on the same line. Go back. That's it. Let's go. Pardon. A. Fix the arm, fix the hands, and fix. And arrive. Stop your hands and stop E and E. Good. Really pass exactly the first position. Okay. Thank you, girls. Second exercise, deux dégagés devant, deux dégagés derrière, deux dégagés à la seconde et deux glissades. Échappé quatrième, échappé seconde, échappé quatrième, échappé seconde et couronne. Instead of doing the four échappé à la seconde, you do crossing, okay? Same as yesterday. It's okay? Let's go. And glissade, you just do open and open. So you change the line. The girls who were in front are going back. It's okay. E. And a nice part de bras. Quatrième. And now stay. You have to prepare it. E. Think of it a little before. Stay. Long legs. E. And prepare. Good. You really have to prepare it before. Okay. Second group. Very disciplined girl. Super. A. And E. Feminine. And proud and happy. Super. Oh, yes, but close the two feet together. You open it together and you didn't close together. Okay, bravo. Adage, we don't change anything for the adagio. Remember, heavy on the floor. So huge on the jambe, one, two, three, four, close fifth. Show me this way of doing the fouetté and really show me quatrième position. A la seconde, this direction, and then arabesque. Again, this way. Here. Now I want a plié with the première position, relevé, and all around. Okay? You have it? Thank you. Three groups. One twenty, you should be there. Voilà. 
It's a snake. It's for Bayader. Martine. And very heavy. Two, three, close, fifth. And show me the direction. Good girls. And. A nice première position. And go, now, dynamic. E. Un. E. Take every position. They have the same price. Okay, and thank you. Second group. I think I can do the first exercise of pirouette with three groups also, and then do in four groups, I think. Okay, E. Close fifth, and one, two, three, four, stay, and plie. E close, and arrive, one, two, and. Okay, thank you. Next group, last group. Remember that Atajo is not a slow moving, it's also with a dynamic. E. And go. Close. Okay, we keep the same groups for the first pirouette. So first group, you remember, dégagé, fifth, stay, fourth, deux pirouettes, quatrième, temps lié, quatrième. One pirouette, quatrième, one pirouette, quatrième, double pirouette, fifth, and the temps lié. Okay, first group, change the line, and we stop between each group. Find the place where everybody can and see. And we've just been watching the adagio which when you've got point shoes on is even harder to feel the floor and the stability, but some beautiful examples of control and extensions. Yes, I noticed a couple of them who had beautiful um, leg line in a la Sacon and moving it through to the arabesque. It's a, a very hard thing to do, especially nerve, with nerves. Yeah. Now we're looking at pirouettes, and again, like yesterday, the pirouettes starting with very simple from fifth position, and then working toward a two leg from fourth position, and then the on de don turn going inward, and 
getting up at the top of the leg to make sure that you're really stable and high up on those standing legs. No, and I think it's becoming more and more commonplace that actually in advanced level training that classes are taken on point. Quite how often. Do you, how do you yes. organize this at JKO? It depends on the day. Um, mm -hmm. I teach uh, this age group uh, and slightly younger. Uh, and I usually do, uh, they have their technique class at least three days a week. And then the other three days they do the center in point, if not a, a separate hour. Some days they have a, two, a separate hour for point as well. And then that will be point or variations or both. So they're getting enough. <laughs> Hold your body. Take care of the shoulders. Strong legs, strong body. Good. Strong body, like you have a tutu. Okay, last group. Finally, you can do it. <laughs> Take your place. Yes, that's it. E. So you see, it's possible. You didn't believe it last uh, Sunday. <laughs> okay. Second exercise. Instead of doing two assemblies soutenues, we will do one piqué, one assemblée soutenue, plié, and détourné, and détourné. Tombé, pas de bourré, double pirouette to the back, finish attitude. Pas de bourré, here, double pirouette to the back, finish arabesque. Tombé, Pas de bourré, pointé, enchaîné, finish, first position. Okay, we did it yesterday. We don't have to, to mark it with music. And remember, you have to travel a lot, bring all the body with you. Uh, four by four, four by four, beginning with the last numbers. Okay, can you come? Four girls, we meet, we... Okay. E. Girls, if girls, girls, I change with the PK that you travel much more and you did under. Can you do it again? And you begin the exercise not completely in the diagonal, okay? Thank you. Now you can be ready. And huge travel. Merci. And go. One of the things I noticed since uh, I'm watching them do turns is their eye focus during pirouettes. I mean, I know, for example, during the last several months when people have been dancing in their living rooms, they've had to have their eye focus much closer in uh, to spot something like their bedroom wall. And here, of course, there's no mirror. They're having to spot further out and we're as you can see in the camera angles, it's black curtains. Mm -hmm. So getting an idea of where to focus your eyes becomes even that much more important. Yep. And I think the eyes are one of the areas that 
sometimes are neglected in the dance when they are so pertinent to pirouettes to capturing your audience's attention. Exactly. I, I kind of want to shout out <laughs> dancers. <laughs> what about looking, really looking, you know, at something and not being uh, vague with your focus? Exactly. To ask them, I find it interesting to ask them, what did you see? That's true. What That's were you spotting? What were you looking at? I find you can see a difference if somebody really has a focal point or just Absolutely. a blank stare. That sort of vague expression, it, yeah. it gives us as audience members less confidence. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it affects their dancing as well. So it's an interesting aspect to the work. It's not just about the legs and feet. It is from the top of the head down to yep. the toes that is involved. Thank you, girls. Lucky you are, jumping. <laughs> okay, first exercise we do all together, it's to warm up the feet. So try to be in order of your numbers. You remember, a la seconde, seconde, close fifth. A la seconde, seconde, close fifth. Uh, changement, 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 changement. Chassé, chassé. Okay, so three lines. Can you do three lines? It will be a... Yes. Can you be more active, girls? More active. Yes. If there is no place here. No, no, we do one group. We do one group all together to warm up. So use the whole. They will not judge you for the first shoot. OK? It just warm up the feet. E. Let's go. Okay, it was a army. It was not a group of still feed. Okay, so now we will go back to the three groups: assemblé, soubresso, glissade, assemblé, assemblé, changement de pied, si son, si son. Okay, and we will do uh, three groups and we stop. Okay, so first group in three groups. Okay, can you be not too close? Remember, COVID time. So take your place. Yes, that's it. Much better. E. And assemble together. Okay, thank you. I really want to see assembly together, joining the two legs in the air, not landing, in the air. Like I see a fifth position in the air, that's better. It's joining the two legs and working with a standing leg. Second group. You, third group. E. Okay, thank you, girls. So now we are warm, we can work on the petite battery. Yesterday you were a little uh, tense, so you remember it, M more calm. Entre chaque quatre, entre chaque quatre, pas de bourré. Jeter, jeter, couper, ballonner, pas de bourré. 
brisé, brisé, tombé, coupé, socha, tombé, coupé, plan de flèche. We mark with music. Right and left, and maintenant tu peux la faire un tout petit peu plus vite. So let's do maybe four groups. And four groups and stopping between. Four groups and we stop between each group. So who is leaving the first group? If not, if we do, we can do by four, and the last two groups of five. Okay, by four. By, by four, four girls. The they know the by four. One twenty, you you wait. Okay. So next group, be ready, but we will stop in between. Okay. E. Remember, so the shot jumping. Sorry. We stop after this group. Okay. We need to stop for the jury. I am sorry. We can't do it so fast. Okay. I would love to have more body for that uh, before the saut de chat. Yes, you use the body with that part of the body. Next group. Okay, E. Thank you. Next group. Okay. E. Nice group. In. Okay, thank you. Big jumps. Same group for the big jumps, I think. Can do. So, preparation. Glissade, failli jeter. Glissade, failli assembler. And si son, and si son. Naï jeter, piquer. Chasser, jeter. Chasser, jeter. Tomber, pas de bourré. And glissade, and assembler, like I ask you really joining the legs, okay? We don't mark with music, it's, we can do it. So I think we can go without stop between the groups for the big jumps. So maybe we do three by three. Okay, three by three, sorry. Three by three. 
and you don't stop between the groups and you wait here. E. No, I think in every class, teachers set different focal points and where they wish to place more of their focus at that moment, but I think here we're seeing that there's quite a lot of time is being allocated to see the dancers in small groups and more in jumping. Yeah, I would say so. It looks as if maybe the jury requested more of the jumps to see them travel in the room. It's a very large space and you know, when dancers are nervous, they dance small. So perhaps since yesterday, they're now requesting that they do more on the jumping elements. Well, I think it's nice. You, you, you get more of a sense of their freedom of movement and taking the space and... And this combination is especially lovely because you have all sorts of aspects um, with the leg and arabesque when you land yep. from a grand jeté en tournant. The grand jeté and attitude to see the alignment of the hips and the basic ballet techniques with a jeté and an assemblé. And here, a big assemblé at the end. She made a point earlier of the assembling of the feet in assemblé. Yep. So it's something worth noting when they're watching. Exactly. No, and you really can, this is an exercise where you can really see their coordination. Absolutely. And a lot of that has to do with the arms. When the arms get taken farther behind your body, it's more difficult to control, especially landing. If you land and your arms are behind you and your chest is in front of you so much so that it can jar your spine. And you can see it sometimes when people land without absorbing that floor that we spoke of yep. earlier. And, and to use the arms coming through the what we call first or third position, yep. or, or actually fifth on avant, depending on your training. <laughs> so many different names for the steps. Yeah, no, incredible the differences in terminology. Yes, we saw it earlier, uh, yep. where Elisabeth called a, a, a soutenu ensemble, mm -hmm. and they could just be soutenu turn or soutenu pique. Exactly. And some people just say soutenu. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, and it's the same with the dégagé or jeté. I'd like to refer to the French. They seem to know their terminology of the French. Well, they created exactly. it. Exactly. So. There we go. Thank you, girls. Okay, so let's go to the enchaînement now. So I have to be very quiet that I am not doing something wrong. 
So preparation, five, six, seven, eight. You do glissade, relevé quatrième. Glissade, relevé à la seconde. Contretemps, fouetté arabesque, pas de bourré, quatrième. It's first eight. Double tour, finish this position. One pirouette en dedans, finish fifth. Un temps de pointe, un temps de pointe. Et maintenant, on voit qu'Elisabeth prépare l'enchaînement, qui est plus ou moins, ça devrait avoir la même longueur d'une variation du répertoire pour les filles. Et je serais curieux de savoir quels les éléments qu'elle a choisis hein, pour que chaque candidate puisse se présenter. Elisabeth, thoughts on l'enchaînement? Curious? Yeah, I think she's going to try to show them in a quick... Uh, footwork with the point shoes. They're very warm now, so they should manage to, be, to do the quick footwork that I think is very indicative of the French school. Big jumps, inclusive, yeah. more turning. Mm -hmm. And I think, again, traveling. I think this is uh, where, as we say, we separate the men from the boys in, in a way, where you can see uh, who has the coordination and the advanced elements required to make into the finals. Exactly. And I think as you know, we're really also looking at their potential. This is, I always find it's in the enchaînement, you get that feeling, even if they're struggling with technical elements or maybe it's new elements, when you feel that burning passion about you just that spark that catches your eye and pulls your attention, so. When you're looking at dancers, is that what you look at as well? Is that, that sort of extra spark or the hunger? Yeah, I always find, without knowing why it's not because someone's standing in the front, you just find that certain dancers pull your attention, Absolutely. you're curious to know. And often I oftentimes I find it's because they're dancers who, they're, they're thinking while they're dancing, they're, they're active, they're not just sort of doing steps. Exactly, they're not anticipating something they may have done in the past. Yep. They're, in, they're present. They're, they're the present, they're, exactly, in the moment and they're actually enjoying, even if you know they can have a range of emotions, but you find yourself drawn to someone. It, it, it can be very subjective. Yes, it's true. I mean, it's obviously very easy to, to look at a dancer, their proportions and their lines, and, and make a judgment, but mm -hmm. it's when they get to move that we really know it's about dance, it's actually about the actual verb. Exactly, dance. yeah, and I think, Maybe it's just my personal opinion. So often the dancers who I've really been inspired by, they were almost never the ones who had the perfect body or the perfect stamina. It's oftentimes the ones who really faced a challenge or maybe they were different or unusual, but I think... I find the same and uh, oftentimes the, the ones who are, have just something not quite to that aesthetic standard that we hold so high, often they don't have that same hunger and I think the ones that have to work a little bit harder you can see you can see that in their eyes yeah like you say so this will be very interesting to watch it seems like it's going to be very fast lots of elements here yes make them dance make them dance <laughs> you got it last part the fast one it's really not easy with the mask <laughs> I'm sorry. <sighs> okay, so the first part. You remember, we enlevé and always the foot is, I have no change. Huh? So now it's what we did yesterday. Tant de pointe, coupé ballonné. Tant de pointe, coupé ballonné. Another ballonné. And now, un balloté, pointé. And now you do pas, no, step, flat. Pas de bourré ouvert. Chat droit de volée. Brisé. Entre chat quatre, same saut de chat, tombé coupé, assemblé soutenu, tous the knee. Last time we mark alone. Et easy. I glissade quatrième, glissade à la seconde, contre temps fouetté arabesque, plié pas de bourré. Two pirouettes, one on the down, two turn points, pas de bourré, tombé, rond de jambe, en arrière, glissade, posé, jeté, glissade, piqué arabesque, 
Chassez, jetez en tournant. T'enlever. Et un, bas. Pas de bourrée ouvert. Briser, chaka, tomber, saut de chat. Yes Let's do. Two by two. Don't be afraid. Uh, let's do one, top, one duet and we will see if, where we begin. Duet, two by two. So the two last number. I don't know if you have to go, no, go a little more down. Maybe I think you can begin here and you can begin here. Okay. And a little more here. Begin here. Yes. You see? And we stop between every duet. Let's go. Uh, really? Five, six, seven, eight. Okay? Allez, let's go. Maybe they can breathe and we can give them a second chance because uh, they were the first group. Absolutely. Okay, so you will have a second chance because you did, uh, comme on dit en français, vous avez essuyé les plâtres. <laughs> okay, second duet. Okay. Show me each position. Thank you. Next duet. We're going to just name a couple of students while we're watching here. 119, Hamin Park from South Korea. She's five foot five, 16 and a half years old. And she's from the Seoul Arts High School. She'll be dancing the Awakening of Flora, as well as the Sarah Band that we saw earlier today with Mr. Goyo Montero. Also in this group, also from South Korea, is number 120, Si Yun Kim. She's a student at the Seoul Arts High School, and she'll be dancing the first shade from Bayadere and Rossini cards from Mauro Begonzetti. So let's discover. I think it's the first, the first uh, from Paquita. Ah, uh, sorry, from Paquita, my mistake. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> this would be fun to dance. Yes, I'd like that. Thank you. Okay. Tomber. 
Dimanche à 4. Thank you. And don't be too close. You're a little too close. Yes. Okay, thank you. E. Show me each position. Thank you. It's 14. We are looking at 114. Nicole Liu, who is from the United States, from the Morning Star Dance Academy. Nicole is 16 years old in one month. She's five foot four. She will be dancing Paquita's The First Girl Variation from the Pas de Trois and unravel the piece we spoke about earlier today with Maya Smallwood. Nice. And then also in this group, we have number 113 from Australia, Amelia So. She is 15 years and 11 months old, 171 tall, five foot seven. And she's also chosen the first girl's variation from the Pas de Trois, act one of Paquita and unravel. So looking forward to seeing them working with Maya. That's right. We have two very different dancers in this group. One's quite tall, one's very petite. But they both have a nice presence. They do. Nice vivacity. And we're going to see number 112 next, Luciana Sad Giorgio, who is from Brazil. She is 15 and nine months. She's from the Petit Dance School of a uh, petite dance school of dance, it says here, but I think probably you say it once, <laughs> and that's enough. And she'll be dancing Paquita's first girl variation from the Pas de Trois and the Sarah Band of Goyo Montero. Right, and also dancing here, wearing the lilac, number 111, Lily Sophia Dashwood from Australia. She is 15 years and nine months old, student at the Jane Moore Academy of Ballet, and she will be dancing The Awakening of Flora and the solo Suppress by Samuel Winkler. Thank you. E. Wait for the music. Thank you. Next duet. E.
you. Next. Come on, so to, come more on stage. Yes. E. Use the floor. Thank you. Préparation et... Okay, and so the second chance for the first duet. So you have a second chance. <laughs> hey. watching the final two candidates in the enchaînement. And then we actually will be back in a half an hour Correct. to see the contemporary with the men group B with Armando Braswell. That's right, so we've seen the men group B in classical class and we will now follow them in half an hour into the contemporary class. So, nos los veremos en media hora. Gracias. See? Exactly, and I think Elizabeth is just consulting with the jury if they have any further requests before she wraps up the class, but I think they can all be very happy and pleased with how they've danced today. Some of them want to do it again. Number one, one, two, you want to do it to the left? Ah, the diagonal, sorry. So diagonal, we do the right turner to turn to the right, and the, the people who want to do to the left, yes, the whole enchaînement. <laughs> okay, so who wants to do the diagonal to the left? Go to the left. Yes, pique, 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 double. Pique, step, pique, pique, step, pique. Pique, soutenu, pique, soutenu. Pas de bourré, and posé. Okay, so who wants to do to the left? No one? Okay, let's do to the right, beginning with the last one. They don't want to do to the left. <laughs> okay, so duet, two by two, like we did yesterday. Very musical, please. And I really want to see pique, step, really flat. I don't want to do something on point, okay? And show, stay, and then uh, stay the, the opposite, okay? Let's go. So now we run two by two. Okay. La diagonale, Martine, merci. 
Celle d'hier, oui. J'en ai pas fait de nouvelles. Et un. Pic, soutenu. Pic, soutenu, piétiné. Un posé piqué double. Et un. Help, you, help yourself with the music. Well. Okay, girls. So come all in center. We will do one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, and one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four. Okay? So I show you here. Use the whole floor, the whole stage. And just now you breathe. You, there is plenty of place here. So you just breathe, make all, everything down. Long arm, long back, and we breathe all together. E. Bien long, hein? And very long. One, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven. Vas-y lentement. Hein? One, two, three, and four. And reverence. Un, deux, et trois, quatre, cinq. And back, and a huge rond de jambe. So thank you, girls. Bravo. Merci. Thank you. <laughs> Merci, Martine. That's nice, 209. I see you there. 
six, seven, eight. All right, boys, looking good. Keep going. Keep going. Next, here we go, and... Next, go. Next. stays behind, okay. it can give the wrong impression to the jury. Okay. I like him to end, but go. Okay. Yes, 203. All right, boys, they look good. Go! Yes! Lovely! All right, 201. Okay. And here we are watching the men in Group A in the contemporary class with Armando Braswell, and he started with some improvisation. Absolutely. I think he has said that he's going to do three different types of movements. First three will be improv, and then a set piece, and then more choreographic to give the judges tomorrow and the future days an opportunity to see them learning in different manners because some of them learn best with improv or show that element of themselves best and some better when things are set right. and some are better when they're given a whole choreography. So he felt like today he wants to give them all those elements. Okay. And I look forward to seeing it. Yeah. There's some talent. There's only 10 men in this group. Great, so it's a small group, and we haven't actually seen them yet. This is my Neither first have time. our viewers. <laughs> this is your first time in seeing these 10 men. Uh, I see that there's a, a, a young man from Brazil. We have a couple of American dancers. We have a couple of Korean, I think, Japanese dancers. So it's quite the variety again. Great. As we have with the ladies. Okay, well, let's see them doing their improv, and we'll do our best to present them to you so the viewers know who they are and where they're from. Tita. Yes. Yeah. Then we come. He goes. Ah, do go, do go, do go, do go, do do. Yes. And we do Tai Chi from here. Okay. Can we do one more time from the beginning? Okay. Keep going, boys. You're waiting too long. You're a small group, so they can see you. Don't make longer like. 
Yeah? I'm, I want to see you dance, but also, like, get across the floor. Yeah? Can we try it one more time? Three, two, one. Three is going to be um, 207, 201, and 209. Yeah. 209, go to the front. 207, go to the back. You're always in the back, 209. Yeah? That's good. So these are the three leaders coming forward. Two is going to be 204 and 208. So we come here, and then the two is you two. So when they come back, we finish, it's you two, the leader for the two. Yeah? For the one, it's you. Yeah? No, not you. You. Solo. Then you follow him. You're the last. Yeah? Yeah, you're the last one. So then you dance, you dance, you dance, you dance, you dance, you dance, you dance. You get to here. You look. Everyone runs on. Doom. To start the next thing. Okay? From the beginning. You can come over here. It's okay. You, you're here. You're working. <laughs> I don't think she has a duck, no? She's part of the team. Three lines. Five, six, seven, and an eight, and a one. Don't wait too long, go. Nice, boys. No more now clear. More clear, yes. Next, go. Clear. No noodle. No noodle. Now more clear. Different. Different improv. Different improv. Clear. Hua. Hu. Hua. Know this. Yeah, more. Ta. Yes. Go. More clear. Different than the other one. Yes, go. Go. He can't wait. No waiting. He has to come and start. Go, go. together. Why are you all together? Spread out. You're going to run on stage. Shoot. Okay, thank you. Hmm. Impro, 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 impro. Look. Ah, and then back. He has to, I don't think he understands he has to do that. Now, so Impro, the last one, he finishes, he looks, he snakes, 
and then they all come. Yeah? Are you sure you understand? Okay. First, improvisation, circle, circular, circular. Yeah? Try not to be frontal, remember? Second, impro, clarity. Yeah? Not the same noodle you did before, the same noodles. Yeah? No, no, no. That's the first one. First one. Second. Great, and so here in the men group A, the youngest male this year, he is 15 years and two months old. Number 201, Mika Levine from the US. He's a student at Ballet Central, New Jersey, and he will be dancing Franz from Capelia, Furio Corporis from Mauro Biganzetti, and he's a tall young man. He's 178, so he's five foot 10. And in looking at this group from our right to left, stage left to right, as it were. The next young man in the red shirt is Jet Lecamo. Lecamo. I'm sorry, I'm pronouncing that very poorly. From the University of North Carolina School of the Arts. He is 16 and two months old. He's five foot four. And he is going to be dancing Coppelia, Franz, Act Three solo, as well as Desde Othello by Goyo Montero. Right, and moving down the line, next up here in the front is number 202, uh, a tall young man, Mingyang Zhi. He is from China. He is 15 years and eight months old, and he's one meter 85, so he's six feet tall. And he will be dancing the boys' variation from Harlequinade and Yugen from Wayne McGregor. And finally, number 204, who's on the end of the line in the white t-shirt, Leonardo Donfrio. He is 16 years old and two months as well, and he is from the Professione Danza Pescara. Pescara. Uh, he's doing Coppelia as well, Franz's third act solo in Desde Otello by Goyo Montero. He is five foot six tall, which is 170 centimeters. Exactly. So. That's the same height as your partner, Mikhail Baryshnikov. Ah. 170. I think he was a bit taller, bit taller? to be honest. Okay. With you. Yes. I think uh, it, it was very difficult to measure because he danced grandly. Um, I know, all I know is when I was on point, I was not taller than him. Okay. <laughs> all right. My, I have little feet. <laughs> I'm only five foot four, so. Okay. And I'm sure I have shrunk in the last few years. Okay. <laughs> No, I think it's interesting for us and also the viewers as we're discovering these men first through contemporary. So we haven't yes. seen them in their ballet class yet. Yes, an actual fact, I think this is going to give us a very good clue into their movement uh, range. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and, and they're listening to instruction because it's such a small group. But we have a couple of uh, interpreters helping with the dancers so that they understand the order, what he's asking, as he's asking them to do different things for this dance that he's going to give them to do. Exactly. Oh, interesting to discover them this way. Yes, I, Their I own it. movement first. It's very different. It's too late, 209. This is a little better. It's a bit late still. It's a bit late, yeah? Or as we say in America, lazy. Yeah, because you're like, got it, do it. Uh, the core is uh, waiting for your response, yeah? So we have to be a little more together. Right now it's like, yeah? <laughs> the same, five, six, seven, and a eight, and a one, two. Okay, one more time. Are you ready? Five, six, Seven and a eight and a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stop. He doesn't understand. He doesn't understand. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, so don't, after four, change, change. Yes? Okay. Five, six, seven, and a eight, and a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, one. He doesn't understand. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, okay, stop. Wow, this is really not working. Do you guys understand what I am saying? Don't say yes if you do not. That's gonna make me upset. We go one by one. Him, 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 him. Four counts. One, two, three, four. Next, two, three, four. Next, two, is that clear? You said that last time. You said yes last time also. No? Yeah. So, I mean, I can try to be more clear. If I'm him, that's me, I'm one, two, three, four, looking to the next, yeah? Can we try one more time? You can do better than this, guys. Now I, I wonder why I didn't do it yesterday. <laughs> Five, six, seven, and an eight, and a one, two, dude. Okay, one more time. Five, six, seven, and an eight, and a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, he doesn't understand. Four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, 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 four, five, six, seven, eight. I didn't realize this was going to be so difficult. Yeah. Um, maybe it's a language barrier. I think it's a language thing. Maybe. Okay. Um, not bad. The movements were good. I just think we can follow a bit better. It seems a bit lazy, like you're like, you know, like I wish you would really try to be the same. Now it seems a bit like... And we can see on our screen here candidate number 208. This is Jong Woo Moon from South Korea. He's a student at the Sunwa Arts High School. He is 16 years and nine months old, 174 tall, five foot eight. And he will be dancing the boys' variation from Harlequinade and also suppressed from the Young Choreographer Award winner, Samuel Winkler. Next one to his right is number 205, Yun Shuo Lu. He is from the dance school attached to the Shenyang Conservatory of Music. He is from China. He's 16 years old and four months. He is five foot seven or 172 centimeters tall. He will be dancing the solo from the Pas de Trois of Act One Swan Lake, as well as Desi Otello by Goyo Montero. Exactly. And if any viewers are wondering, the candidates have the right to wear a mask or not, but everybody is fully vaccinated and tested. And then just beside him, also, we have a candidate from South Korea, number 207. This is Geon Hee Park. He's also a student from the Sunwa Arts High School. He is 16 years and seven months old, 171 tall, five foot seven. And he'll be dancing Siegfried, Black Swan from Swan Lake and Unravel by Maya Smallwood. The last one on this second row is number 206, Ming Duo Hao from the dance school attached to Shenyang Conservatory of Music. He's from China. He's 16 and a half years old. He's five foot 10 and 178 centimeters. He will be dancing Coppelia Franz Act Three solo and Unravel by Maya Smallwood. Yeah, no, I think it's, 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 it's fascinating to discover them through this way as we're so often used to seeing them first in a ballet class. And so this gives us a very different point of view. Yes, I think we're having some issues with language barriers, but they'll get it in the end. Yeah. Uh, and I think that their feeling, the feeling of being more loose 
is a new one for a lot of these younger yeah. gentlemen. Uh, he's asking them to wear sort of sweatpants. Yeah, baggier clothing. Baggier clothes to feel a little more relaxed. Yeah. And it seems to help them in their efforts to move in a more yeah. casual uh, but yeah. controlled way. Yeah, no, and I, I'm seeing this here as well. There's a strong group from South Korea. Yes. Really, really strong dancers coming out of Sunwa Arts High School. Yes. From Seoul. Lots That's correct. Of, you're seeing lots of Kim In at the Mariinsky. Oh, There's yes. several Koreans in ABT as well. They're really yes. present now. So we're... Uh, I think now that people are able to travel around the world and there's a global, ballet is such a global art form, mm -hmm. I think that there's no holding back on uh, inclusion of different races and, and um, into companies. So it's exciting really to see so yeah. many people of different ethnicities yeah. in a competition. Uh, and when we can get them into the schools, then we can move them further up the ranks into studio companies, junior companies. companies. Exactly. Yeah. No, and I think it's, I find it interesting. I find a lot of the Korean, the South Korean dancers, they're so technically strong, but they have a beautiful flow. They have some very, very serene I was going to use qualities. the exact same word, serenity. Yep. Yeah. And I think that's the security in their technique that yeah. comes from their young age and doing the work in their young youth. Yeah. Uh, and I see it in the classical work, but like I said, in the girls, it's for me, the females' port de bras, their arm movements are beautifully coordinated and it helps them to look elegant. Yeah. Uh, their point work is generally very strong. They can turn and jump. And the gentlemen usually have a very good jump as well, a nice strong jump. Yeah. This one is not very good, I have to be honest. I, I'm very, I like you a lot, but this is really not good. I think we're gonna have to work on this. It's okay. I was so impressed with you yesterday, and I went home so happy and in a good mood. I was like, oh, the young boys, they have fire. So you can't be good at everything. Yeah, this is not very good. <laughs> We're gonna have to work on this. Um, and especially as men, I won't allow it, no way. They're like, you know, men, they just need a little time. We're not together, uh-uh, no. If the girls can do it, so can you, yeah? I think you just have to care enough about it. Yeah, and I'm here to put the pressure on you to really care about this, yeah? Okay, so we do three, two, one. <gasps> taka, 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 boom. Tai Chi. You have eight. They have four. You have eight. One, two. This is too much. They don't... They can't follow that, yeah? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How are you gonna end? Eight? What's the end? Like this? We have to end like this. So you know the ending. Five, six, seven, eight. Yes, good. We have to work on this, yeah? Let's say that went well, right? <laughs> Now we're gonna make a transition. So this line is gonna go back. This line is gonna come forward. You come to the middle. Exactly. And then we start, what is it? What do you have? Ah, uh, yes. Uh. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. Then we start this. But the transition, I think, the back people, the back people who went forward, you can improvise forward. Su, su. Two eights. Two eights. Um, the front people, you look and you walk back. Su, su, su. Please, not this. You know, because you know, that's what you were going to do, yeah? So you walk back, one, two steps. One, two, look. Yes? Seven and an eight and a, ooh, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Can I see from Tai Chi? Oh. Yes, Tai Chi. We finish. Seven, eight. And then one. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two. Oh, can we do two eights? So you're too fast. Two eights. Yes? Two eights. When you get back there, you have to take the time. You can't stand there now because you're like, I got there early. No. Yeah? Six, seven, and a change. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a eight, and a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I did that? Wow, I'm a genius. Hey, you guys, that looks great. They look good, Paul. That looks good. Okay. Um, that was quite good. Shall we put it all together? Everything? Shall we try? We're going to do it, yeah? Go drink some water. Come back. We're going to do it from the top. Yes. Yes, they look good. They look good. Are you a dancer? Yeah. Okay. Where are you dancing? I think that's, that's a good moment. Okay. The policies of the Prix de Lausanne, because I think it's really a pioneer in instigating the health policies. And I can see in the public here, Dr. Carlo Baguti is here. So they really do take a great, great, great interest in the mental and physical health and well-being. I understand there's a physical therapist here as well. Uh, yep. So that's really important because if the dancer pulls a muscle, you need treatment right away yep. and not wait until they get back into their country to get the treatment. Yep. So it is a, a very sound and holistic approach mm -hmm. to a competition as such. And I think that that's what makes the pre a little bit different than other competitions. Exactly. Everybody has their your forte and sure. what they're doing. But I think that's what makes this one a little bit different. Exactly. No, I think the pre really set those values into motion. And that is the first part of the application process is quite an intensive health check, which is verified by Carlo Baguti. Yes, I know yeah. that they check the females are not too thin. Exactly. Uh, you know, there's this impression the in cycles, the world exactly. that... Uh, ballet, ballerinas, uh, girls are always supposed to be extremely thin, mm -hmm. um, but it's now not perceived as a healthy thing. We no. would like our dancers to be long-term uh, health, have yeah. long-term good health, and they need to eat to get through a day like this. Hello. Same with the men. Exactly. You want a strong, fit, healthy athlete who's aware of their instrument, and they're able to really then be artistic and be inspired. Yeah, absolutely. And I think we're going to now point out a couple of other dancers that we haven't Sure, I think mentioned. we just got two, two yes, more. Yes, we only have two more left. We have number 209, who is in direct line right. with Mr. Braswell. Number 209, who is Ned manning Luri from Australia. He is five foot 10, 16 years old and nine months. He's from the Tanya Pearson Academy, and he's going to do Satanella, which is from the Carnival of Venice. Exactly. Men's variation uh, from Count Fabio. Right, so and then Rain of Kinsun Chun. And we can see here Paul Pavey, incredible musician based in Israel, who's accompanying the classes. And the final young man in this group that we have yet to present is from Brazil. And this is candidate 210, Miguel Oliveira. And he is 16 years and 10 months old. He is 170 tall, five foot six. And he'll be dancing Colas's variation from La Firma Garde and Des de Otello from Goyo Montero. There we are, we can see him now. That is it, our 10 candidates. And now we get to see them in action in their improvisation. Absolutely. They're each doing slightly different movements, which they've made up themselves. 
and they'll integrate these movements from one side of the stage to the other before they end up doing more set pieces. It's a bit late, this. You should have come sooner, yeah? Clear? Yes. That's nice, 201. Nice, 207. Really good. Okay, so let's say you arrived. Da -da 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 -da. Six, seven, eight, and one. Yes, good. So you understand? One more time, we arrive. Da -da -da -da. One. One, six, one, five, one, five, one, five. One more eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Chain. Five, six, seven, and an and one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, one. Nice. We only need one more eight. <laughs> yes. That's good. Maybe it's too fast, this one. Yes? Okay. This is the group where we keep the same tempo. Okay. Because I wasn't sure. Yeah, Every other temp uh, group we had to speed up. But you will keep the same. Hey, boys, that was good. What do you think, guys? Not bad. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, I think um, when I have you improvise like that, it shows you more than me doing like dun, dun, contemporary plies. Dun, dun. You know what I mean? Or uh, 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 let's warm up. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> That's my modern joke. Yeah, I think showing you guys improvising and then breaking you down to two and then breaking you down to one gives the jury a better idea of what you are. I gave you the solo because you're a good dancer, but you have to use it. 
So show how you can be different. You know, like, it's not about energy. I chose you because I see you have a talent for movement. You're naturally talented. So I want to do many things. Don't give energy, close your eyes. And, no, this is not what it's about. It's about really showing off how you can move, yeah? Not only your feet, you have great feet and stuff and a really high bottom, but I think, yeah, you're not showing yourself off enough. All the people who start, if I made you start something, I, I think you can show off more. One thing I'd like to it's, mention, which we mentioned off. early, early this morning, was that tomorrow at 6 p.m. here at the Stravinsky Auditorium, gratis, totally for free, the public can come here in Montreux and meet the jury members. Um, it's an opportunity, I'm sure, to hear their stories and hear more of their, themselves than we're able to present in these short intervals. Uh, and I think I would love to be there as well to hear what they have to say and mm -hmm. you know what their feelings are so far. Exactly. Demain à 18h, la public a la chance de rencontrer le jury. C'est ici dans, dans le, la salle à Stravinsky à Montreux et c'est gratuit. Une rencontre avec le jury qui Par la suite, à 19h15, il y aura la chance de voir les cinq solos, les finalistes de cette année pour le Young Creator Award et de découvrir um, les cinq solos. Fantastic. Yes, great. So, everybody, if you're welcome as well tomorrow, love to see you here. And I believe also you're, you're able to watch from the auditorium the coaching sessions as well. So there's lots That's to correct. see. That's correct. That is exactly. right. Exactly. So everybody is welcome. Uh, and of course, our audience on Arte Concert are able to watch the live stream. And you can find also information on the live stream on Facebook, mm -hmm. Twitter. Yes. And on the, website the Prix of the Lausanne Prix. website and Arte Concert. There we go. Yeah. And I believe now we're going to present five further profiles of the candidates where they present themselves. Hi, my name is Cindy Upchurch. I'm 15 years old. I train at Cary Valley Conservatory, and I'm very excited to be attending Prix de Lausanne 2022. Hello, everyone. My name is Zhao Hao from the Secondary Dance School affiliated to Beijing Dance Academy in China. Hi, my name is Lexi McLeod, and I'm from the United States of America, North Salt Lake, Utah. I'm a student at Moga Conservatory of Dance Hi, my name is Phoebe. I live in Sydney, Australia, and I go to Tanya Pearson Classical Coaching Academy. I'm so happy and excited to be chosen to attend the 2022 Prix de Lausanne. Seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and an eight, and a one. Two. Yes? Exactly. Um, very good. We can do that again. I think we can do it again. Um, it's good for Paul, yes, to get the music. After that, we take water and we learn the new combo. Oof, so we have a new combo to add on to this. Um, the transitions have to overlap. So they finish and you, oh, no, if he's here, I said this already. I did say this already. When they get here, should come the new people on. I did say that already. Actually, I did, yeah? But you're not paying attention, because you're boys. Yeah? So when I go off, be ready to come on. Every time. And the one person, who's the single? 209? 202. <laughs> yeah? Because you're the last. If you're the last, stay. 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 Go the other way. You don't have to go off. You know, if you're last, stay, come back, yeah? Um, that was it. Transition, can I see the transition one time? Six, seven, and an eight, and a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and an eight, and a one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight. Who didn't give a move? Did you give move yesterday? He did? Which one did he give? Okay, I take this one. One, two. Can we flip it? One, two, three, four. Yes. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Can we go? Five, six, seven, eight. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the microphone guys hate me now. They're like, oh. God. Yeah? So what did we do? <laughs> what did we do? One, two, three, four. And then I think you did five, six, seven, eight. Yes. And one. No. <laughs> yes. Good. Can I see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and an eight, and a one, two, three, four, five, six, go, seven, go, eight. <laughs> When you're late in these moments, it's always funny, like for the rest of your life, yeah? <laughs> Try to be really with the group at the end, or else it's like nine, <laughs> yeah? Okay, can I see from the top? This is good. Sorry, not the top. Very good, not the top, from the beginning of this. How, how does this start? Oh, yes, I like this. Six, seven, and an eight, and a one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't be late. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice boys, men. Yeah, nice men. That was good. That was good. Um, okay. We're gonna try the whole thing till here. Yes? One tip I would give you when you start your improvisation, it's like walking into a room. You're gonna practice this tomorrow. When you walk into a room, you always walk up. So whenever I walk into a room, I always walk up and I look around in the room and I'm always like this, yeah? When you guys walk into a room, I have the feeling that you're like this. Like, a bit like that, yeah? It's not about being arrogant, but it's about confidence, yeah? Actually, you own that moment. The moment you enter into a room, you own it. Everyone's jealous of that moment, yeah? So it's about this. When you lead the line, it's the same. When I come to lead the line, I'm leading. And then I lead the line. It's, it's weird when you're like, You know, it feels a bit like this. Lead when you're the leader, yeah? Don't step out like a bit. Is it him? Is it me? I don't know. Mm, yeah? All right, come on, from the top. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna say, hey, jury. We've been working on this piece. I made it all myself. Yeah, and you go. One, two, three. Yes, come with the last line. Stay with the line. Yes? Stay with the line. Look aside, look aside, look aside. Yes, good. Okay. Five and a six and a seven and a eight and go.
Beautiful, boys. Keep going. Clarity now. It's different. Yes. Excellent, boys. Excellent. It's interesting seeing the young men improvise. I think sometimes people think improvisation is easy. Like, oh, you just improvise, it's free, and everything works. Well, actually, there's some very established techniques in improvisation, the foresight improvisation technologies, or you can be given very specific tasks in improvisation. And there's very, very clear techniques that can be very daunting, very scary, uh, but also very liberating. I think I would probably find it intimidating myself um, because you think you need the movement to be so different. But what he's showing or what they're doing are lunges, leg extensions, spirals, um, opposition, things that we do as classical dancers as well. And you're not just making up a few balance, say, waltz combinations. Exactly. No, and I think also, in improvisation, it can be very easy that you fall into your, your, your sort of your usual range of movements or your comfort zone. A default mechanism. Exactly. But in improv, you can really, I think it can really block you if you set out to be original. You're looking for something new. Yes. It's often more about exploring a given task or letting an idea lead you into the movement and to go somewhere unexplored or unknown. Yeah, it's quite exciting and interesting. And I love seeing the young kids try it, I think. Yeah. Um, even more so than the, the older ones. Oh, yeah. Because it's opening up their eyes and to something totally different. Yeah, often. and usually I find the young ones, they're totally uninhibited. True, They go Absolutely. for things, and then later they become more and more self-conscious exactly. and nervous. But yeah. you know what can be a very valuable learning tool? Two, five, seven. Yes, Paul. One, five, six, seven. Don't be late. Yes, men. That was excellent. That was really good. Really good. You're very talented, 207. It's beautiful. Because he moves things you don't normally move. So that's what's good. A lot of you are, I mean, this group is very talented, to be honest. But what, what's going to make you stick out to me and to the jury, I think, is when you move things not usual. That's why he really sticks out. Sometimes he's so lost. I have no idea where he's going to go next. Yeah, and some of you are just always doing the same thing. Yeah, and I think you can pause sometimes and not know, and then move again. Like you can not know, and then do something simple. Sometimes I think it's too much.com. Yeah, you're doing too much, you're doing too much. Yeah, we need to scale that back a little bit and do less. Tai Chi was better, wasn't it? Tai Chi was better. Tai Chi was better. Um, I just think you can be more obviously for the group. You know, like if I cared, if I judged you on how much you led the group, you would do it differently. You would be like, one, two, three, right? If I was like, oh, you can get the prize if you do it well, everybody would be like, one, two. Yeah, but now it's like you don't care because you feel like, yeah, I feel like it's like that. We can work on that a little bit more, yeah? Um, okay, drink water, new combo. Oof. Good job, guys, you're going fast. Go, go, go. Don't pretend to drink, actually do.
No, I think the, the candidates are just having a little break here before we continue with the class. And just a completely spontaneous question. I'm going to put uh -oh. put Miss, Miss Harvey on the spot. <laughs> so I think, you know, a lot of times people think we have to be perfect. Everything has to work. Of course. And when you <laughs> see somebody who wins or the, they're a principal dancer, you just, you have them on such a pedestal. But I think it's so important to take risks. And we all have moments when things completely don't work. Oh, yes. We're all human. But I'm sure that never happened to you. Oh, no, never. <laughs> of course it did. <laughs> I, I would dance sometimes, um, and I was quite a nervous performer. Okay. Uh, beyond the handshaking, which people would have to actually put their hand on top of mine to get me to stop. Um, I would be trying so much harder on stage than I would in a rehearsal that sometimes I would trip my partner, and there's some very special partners that would go, calm down, calm down, they would say mm -hmm. to me in the background. Um, I don't think I ever learned to calm down. I think because you place so much importance on the performance. Mm -hmm. But with maturity, you don't get upset when things don't go as well. Right. And I think that's that's the difference. Exactly. No, and I think it's good. We need to take risks, you know, artistically, Absolutely. creatively. You know, be feel empowered to go beyond your comfort zones, experiment, push your limits within a safe zone, you know, with safely. But I think it's also good to remind candidates striving for perfection can be good, but we all have days when things don't work or doesn't... But I also know yeah. what is perfection. I mean, it's only in your own mind because yeah. you can't reach something you can't possibly even describe. So I always say just be as good as you can be and as good as you can be in that moment. And yep. forgive yourself as you would a friend if there is an error. You, yeah, you are it human. happens. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. with our philo philosophy, we should turn and watch them again. <laughs> exactly. No, but I think here, this is a perfect example. I'm sure a lot of them right now are feeling completely out of their comfort zone. Yes, yeah. And it's not wrong. No. What they're doing. There's no right or wrong. It's a learning experience. Absolutely. Yeah. Very good. From here we go five, six with the overcross. And here you're going to slide seven, eight. Yes. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can I see? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, no. Four, no? Okay. You can't be wrong in the first minute. That's not allowed. We just learned this. If you do four, three when I did four, I'm like, why? We just learned it like two seconds ago. So that, that says something about how you learn, right? Oh, translate this. This is good. How do you learn? If I just did four and you did three, I go, aha. How are you learning? Why do you think I'm going slow? So you can understand the details of the movement? It's for the counts. It's for the counts. One, two, three, four. Yes, how are you learning, guys? You're like, no, what about the counts? This is what we're gonna need on stage. Details we do la after, yeah? One more time, five, six, seven, and a eight, and a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time. Yes. Five, six, seven, and a eight, and a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Yes. Not bad. Only one turn. <laughs> and I think we can, uh, look at me, look at you. <laughs> yeah, some of you are like, I know that, Armando. <laughs> yeah. Sa, two, three. Look at me, look at you. Exactly. Four. Don't, don't be higher than the teacher. Yeah, that's always embarrassing. Now from here, I want the turn, guys. Ah! Yeah, thank you. When you grunt, I know it's real. Yeah, so make sure you turn here, and this is a slide. Slide. Yes, beautiful. And I think I always teach this wrong, I'm sorry, but I think it's that, not both. It's both. It's not both one. Yes, that's nice. One more time from the top. 
five, six, seven, and the eight, and the one, two, three, yes, four, five, six, go, seven, eight. Nice. That's okay? One more time. Can you spread out? Um, step back, 203. Step back. Step back, 208. Yes. Five, six, seven, and an eight, and a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight, and a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. I think what eats my time is my undulation. What's undulation in Japanese? <laughs> yeah? So this is what's missing from you guys. So you're like, it's a bit like that. <laughs> yeah? So, ah, uh, yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes, that's it. So, bum, side, side. Ah. You look amateur when you are impatient, meaning you're like, it's so slow. No, you look, it, you're being amateur. One, two, three, four. Don't say, you're not, you have to dance. Yeah? Um, the turn was good. One more time and then we go on. Five, six, seven, and eight, and one, two, three, yes, four, five. Five, six, seven, eight. That was it, 202. Tell him that was it, 202. That was it. Yeah? Very good. Okay, so we finish eight. You have to look tough. Face. In this moment. Yeah, don't be like, it's not that. Yeah, we have fists. That's better, 208. Look at 208. <laughs> From here, boom. So here we do chasse, but contraction. One, two, three, four. No knee. Long. No knee, 205. Stretch. Stretch your leg. Stretch your back leg. Yeah, perfect, good. <laughs> He'll never forget me. Um, eight, one, two, Mr. Beachy, three, did you have a favorite four. style of contemporary dance? Uh, Horton, Graham, or what was yours? Because I know you danced quite a, a lot a of lot. contemporary dance. Um, I would say I learned a lot from the rele release technique. All right. Um, I found it really helped. I learned a lot of new connections about movement through that. Um, but what I really, I was allergic to it as a child. Improv, you would never, I would run and hide in the corner. I would have cried. So yeah. I get that. Yeah. But I wound up spending most of my career working with Frédéric Flamand, which was dance and architecture. So most of our, we actually created most of the material ourselves, but it was often in relation to other art forms with architecture or a space or an image or an idea. So I really quite enjoyed knowing that when I would go on stage to perform, it wasn't about actually performing a set choreography, but having a series of tasks to accomplish and explore. So I really liked that it was a, a creative process. Say, an exploration. Exactly. That's so, exciting. That's yeah. interesting. I always am um, conscious of how dancers, this is separate, fall yeah. uh, to their knee. And there's a couple of pieces in the choreography that they will be doing that they have to drop onto one leg. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, my abdominal muscles always clench yeah. <laughs> when they're doing that movement because I always feel like you have to hang on in order to not hit your knee hard on the floor mm. or go over on your ankle. So I think some of these things require a technique oh, in order yes. to achieve. Um, so when I'm seeing some of the movement, I'm 
a little cringy because I worry about their, their health, their physical health. Yeah. But generally speaking, they've learned how to do the falls and the yeah. going over their feet and all the yeah, new yeah. elements that are involved in some of the choreography you'll be seeing. Exactly. Yeah, no, I think, you know, there's a, there's a technique for falling, for dropping, just like getting onto point. And that's where it's our role as a pedagogue to really ensure that we've that they are ready for what we're asking them to do or allowing them to try. Absolutely. So, yeah. Thank you for answering my question. <laughs> You're welcome. And one, nice. I think we got to, yes. Now he pointed harder. From here, one, two, three, four. Five, 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 six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, three, four, coupe jeté, five, six, seven, eight. One more time. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Coupe jeté. Six, seven. Eight. Drama. Dramatica. Yes. One more time. Um, from four. No, from the top. Five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Go! One, leg, two. Three, leg, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, you're in the pit. <laughs> yeah? Don't fall in the tuba. You gotta use the space. Hey, that wasn't bad. I just feel like it could be uh, three, four, five, small, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. You know, like you're doing too much. You're like, and then you don't make the time. Can we do 70% energy? Seventy percent of just to get the the counts. Five, six, seven, and eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. You know what's my favorite part about contemporary? You were all great in classical. Some of you we lost once we started doing improv. Then we lost some of you when I asked you to create moves. Then we lost some of you when I asked to learn choreography. Then we lost some of you when I asked you to remember that choreography. It's interesting how nobody can really be good at every single aspect. I'm sure if we ask the jury, well, what part were you not good at? Friedemann might say, well, I could do this better. I could do that better. So it's OK, you can't do everything good. But I'm going to push you and show the jury the different elements, just like the classical. They show many, they show bar, they show center, they show many things. I want to do the same thing, yeah? Um, and no matter if you don't feel good at one part, I want you to just show that you want to be better. So it's not to expose you, but it's to um, maybe have a reality check for yourself. So you know where you are. Amazing improviser. But learning the combo, uh-oh, tricky, yeah? So you see how everyone is not, it's not easy for everyone to do everything, yeah? Um, 
I'm going to help you. I think now we're going to take the tempo up. We just tried a little bit faster, Paul, okay. just to see where that's going to put them. I don't know. Maybe that'll land them better. Yeah? Can we try it one more time with tempo a bit up? Can you spread out? You always do the same. And then you... Yeah? Five, six, seven, and an eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you have eight improv. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, and it has to be different. Yeah, I want to impress the jury. I don't want you to be, I still got energy. Yeah, I want it to be like, ah. Really subtle. So they're like, ooh, these boys. Yeah? So the next, this improv has to be like nothing, Michael Jackson. Yeah, very smooth. Not, yeah? So we have to be different. Wow. Very nice. Very nice. Um, just a few points in the combo. The head is still missing side to side. So one, two, three, four, three. One, two, three, three, four. Yeah? And this is pizza, William Forsyth. So you have the pizza, you know? You have the pizza. You can't drop the pizza. Yeah, so you can't drop the pizza. Look, 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 look. Forget this pizza. <laughs> exactly. Yes. So show your technique and then throw it away. That's what the best dancers do, right? Show it and then let it go. Yeah. Um, the girls put their foot on their head. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. They were like, bam! I was like, oh. yeah? But just get the leg up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? It's not coupe. <laughs> Attitude, yes, thank you. Yes, and if you can put it on your head, please do. Don't get a cramp. If I tried that, I'd be like, ah, oh, stop the scream. <laughs> yeah, so, bah. Yes, and um, guys, this is a perfect example of maturity. What are your arms doing? Mm, mm, mm. I think whatever you do, do it, boys. Yes, what is this? You didn't come to the Prix de la Zone to learn that. Yeah, you're throwing away your arms. Oh, we'll deal with it later. No, we're not. We're going to deal with it now. What are you doing, 210? Let me see. This is better. Sometimes you guys are like, mm. it's a bit like that. Um, can I see this chasse turn? Come on, you're going to do that in your classical career. No, it's too uppity. It's down. Down. Yeah? And then I think you can do better. Yeah! Yeah! Yes! And now you have to land like a dancer. Za! Ha! Ha! No, that was not like a dancer at all. Anybody can land like that. I want you to land And I think we've got just a few minutes remaining of today's live streaming. Absolutely. This ends day two. Exactly. Early. And tomorrow we look forward to more contemporary, some coaching of other variations yes. that we have not seen as of yet. Yes. And uh, the jury will be marking different areas, uh, of different elements yep. than they have today. Yep. And more coaching and more coaching. It's very exactly. good for them. I feel, I feel uh, very confident that we're going to be able to draw out a few dancers yeah. that we can see uh, as shining examples. Exactly. Yes, and I think tomorrow we're going to see the first coaching also with Nicolas Le Riche. 
who has arrived. He will be coaching tomorrow, and I believe that the class that we've just been watching now, the jury will discover the candidates for the first time tomorrow in contemporary. So full program ahead tomorrow as well. Absolutely. I hope we all get a good night's sleep, and I hope the dancers get a good night's sleep and good rest. Yes, very important. And we look forward to seeing you all tomorrow as yeah. well. Thank you, Jason, for today. Thank you, Cynthia. Et euh, pour notre public, pour demain, il y a un programme complet aussi pour demain, euh, avec du déco de classique, du déco de contemporain. Et c'est la première fois que le jury va voir les, les euh, candidats en contemporain. Et Nicolas Le Riche est arrivé pour le coaching. Alors, euh, il y a plein de choses à voir demain. Et on espère vous voir demain. Bonne soirée. Bis morgen. Where something is hard, and then our habit is to make it look hard, to show everyone how hard it is. It's a really bad habit of dancers. So instead of like taking the road of, I'm going to tackle this right now, you always do the same thing. You go, this is hard. I just want you to know. It, it's like this. So OK, this is hard. Tackle it. Like, don't go, this is. Because <laughs> you do that on stage, huh? You do the same thing on stage. It's this habit. You're like, this is hard. Yeah, it's hard. Dance is hard. Yeah? But this is not too hard. Can everyone go here? And then we're going to go forward. Yes? So what is that? Three, four? No, five, six, seven, eight. Go one, two, three, four. Is that right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? One more time. From where? Yeah, let's go from there. So we do it all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, what's the problem? It's too long. One more time. It's not that hard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one leg. Two. 205 is late. Two. Two. Three. Four. Yes, one more time. Four. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one leg. Two, three, four. Good. Um, 205. It is for Z Look at me. You see? You guys are like this. Look at me. I'm literally, my hips are down. So for me, it's just a matter of that. Yeah, too much. Yes, close this foot. Yeah. Yeah, and then from here, go forward. Now, if you put weight on this and weight on this, it looks like that. Yes. No. You didn't have weight. Keep the weight on it so that you can land. Yeah? No. This was off the floor even. Can I see? From here? Everyone here? Ready? Go. Yes. And then? Keep your pelvis down until you need it. So you keep your pelvis down until you need it, meaning from here, from here, keep your pelvis. Look at my pelvis. Look at my pelvis. Now. So not this. Not this. You see your lip? Stay down. Now up. Bam. Bam. Bam, you always forget. You, so now it's over. Yeah, keep, keep, no, take a break, yeah? Keep, and then, yes, 209, yes. From the top. Two oh nine is ready. Whose kid is that? No, I'm kidding. Five, six, oh, she's there? I saw. Ah. Five, six, seven, and a eight, and a one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. No, we need one more eight. Good. I think this one can be more like, um, how do you say? Two, three, four. You always forget. You go, it's too sloppy. So I wish it was one, two, three, four, five. Huh, yes, and can you be more cool? So we, um, here, bam, land, look, 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 look. No, no. Yes, and then look, Siga! Yeah. I like this version. Can you do that again? On your hands? Yes! Can you try that? Break dance ballerina. Go! Yes, boys! This is good. I don't know why I yell sometimes. It's just. Hey, not bad. Go drink water. We're gonna hit it. I'm still on time, right? At 45, we finish? Oh no. Oh, come back, no water. Yeah, gotta make sacrifices. I'll sacrifice your water. All right, listen, come. I'm very happy with you guys today. I know it's tough. I know I was also mad at you that you didn't do well with the thing, but also I think this can improve. Um, you were one of my favorite classes yesterday, and also today. So then I think we can take the level up. To be honest, you surpassed my expectations. So now I have to also step it up. I also go home and I bring more. I don't go home and be like, eh. I go home and I'm like, okay, uh, 209, this, I gotta, you know, and I, I try to bring up a level also myself. Not that I bring the same McDonald's and I'm like, oh, they're better than McDonald's, but that's what I got. You know what I mean? So I bring, and you look, and I'm like, okay. Well, I go home, and I'm like riding, and I come back, oh, da, da. then I come back for you. What are you doing for me? What you gonna do for me? You gonna go over the combinations? Yeah? You go over the combinations. Yeah, this is the pre, so this is your chance. Today, yesterday, and we have one more day before the jury is watching what you've learned. Tonight, before you go to bed, you sit on your bed and you think, what have I learned in these two days? Just think about it. Even if you only have one thing, just think, okay. And then go to sleep, okay? Excellent, excellent work. Say thank you to Paul. Thank you, thank you. Very good work. Excellent. Shit, I always go. Over.